Can I do something weird? <laughs> Is that all right? Um, when I got ordained, Bill told me, he said, the fights that we have fought, you will not need to fight because we fought them for you. And what I want to do is impart to you what we've received from our dads because you carry the same tribal anointing. This, this house is like family to me. When I'm with you, it feels like home. You feel like family. So I'm just going to pray over you what they prayed over me. So Father, Lord, what my fathers have given to me what Bill, Va what Bill, Bill Valt, <laughs> what in the world? What Chris Valton, what Bill Johnson, what Steve Backlin, Lord, what Danny Silk, what Donna Jordan, Father, what Floyd McClung, what so many of the fathers and mothers in my life have invested in me, Father, I give to Elevation Church. I give to every person in this house the breakthroughs that have been won. They don't have to fight those battles because those battles have been won. And they get to live in the law of inheritance. They get to live in what has already been invested in them. I thank you, Father, that this church is a church that loves you. I thank you that this church is a church that has said, we're pursuing the presence, and it doesn't matter what it looks like, we're going for it. And so, Father, I pray for more. Father, I pray for a release of buildings, to be given to this church. Father, that there will be places in this community that are giving away facilities, and the first people they're gonna think of is Elevation Church. And they're gonna begin to see, Lord, that this church becomes a benefit to the communities that it's in. That they begin to cause uh, whatever community that, that Elevation Church is in, it actually causes the culture of that community to begin to be transformed into the culture of the kingdom, Lord. And I thank you that you have raised up powerful, anointed leaders in this house. They aren't coming, they're already here. And Father, this is a time for them to be released. This is a time for them to walk in the newness of life, to walk, Father, in the reality of what you have already invested in them, Lord, that they are walking holy and blameless before you, not because of what they've done, but because of what you've done, God. And so, Lord, we just declare blessing and favor and honor over this house. And we thank you, Lord, that they are honorable to the other churches in this town. I thank you, Lord, that you're going to give them solutions to bless the other church communities. I thank you that the way that they're going to manifest the glory of God is not going to be contentious with the other churches. It's actually going to draw them in because they're going to be so blown away by the humility that the leaders in this house walk in. And the reason they walk in humility is because they know their dad. They know that they're loved by their dad. They don't have to, be, they don't have to prove themselves to anybody because they know they've got a good, good dad who loves them so much and believes in them so much that all they want to see is his kingdom come, his will be done in Green Bay, in Wisconsin, as it is in heaven.